From Montana's news leader, you're watching the MTN 530 News. The Laurel City Pool will remain permanently closed after issues with maintenance, cost, and logistics. But something new is coming, and it's making a big splash in that town. Our Kelsey Marison is speaking with representatives and some excited residents about future plans for fun in Laurel. While it may be a little too cold to play in the water right now, the city of Laurel has some exciting changes coming this summer. A new splash park will replace the city's pool, which had to be permanently closed due to maintenance issues. I mean, my girls grew up going to this pool, so we have a lot of memories. While we see plenty of snow in the winter months, our summer months can be scorching. Beating the heat has been a challenge for Laurel resident Cheryl Hill and her children the last couple years. Laurel's community pool closed during the COVID pandemic and has never reopened because of costly, extensive repairs needed and continuous staffing issues. So now Laurel is switching gears. I see the need of change with the simplicity of a splash park and the ability for kids of all ages to be able to utilize that. The city is raising money to build a splash park, similar to one seen here at multiple parks across Billings. I hear people getting excited all the time. We're starting to see more donations come in as the buzz is going out there. Hill and Amy Mullaney are on the front lines of the splash pad fundraising drive, but it won't be easy. We are looking at uh, somewhere between 200 and $250,000 for the first phase of this. Although as more funding comes in and if people want to donate, uh, we can raise that bar a little bit. Ryan Welsh is the project engineer for KLJ Engineering, which has been contracted for the project that is actually much more involved. We're going to have a number of features associated with the Splash Park, from a small children's area to a large kids area that'll be fully interactive. It's a hefty cost, but residents and planners say it's worth it. If you want to make a donation in your community, the best way to do that is to keep your funds here in the community. We want them to come, be involved, make a contribution. I'm very proud. I'm very proud to see all the Laurel residents come out and support this. And get back to more summer fun.